the New York governor had just called in the National Guard to help police the subway system. New York Mayor Eric Adams pivoted a different way and said, it's not a crime, it's mental health. Joining me now is former FBI agent, okay, Stuart Kaplan, who is very, very worried about the increase in crime and says he doesn't like anything that happened in this New York City situation, including the response from the politicians. Stu, thanks very much for joining us, especially on a Friday night. What is your diagnosis of what this represents, this scenario? Well, first of all, Chris, the deployment of the National Guard, quite frankly, that's smoke and mirrors. That has zero deterrence in any capacity whatsoever. There are millions of people that ride the New York City subway each and every day. It would be absolutely impossible. The system would come to a screeching halt if you treated the subway system like an airport. That's number one. So it's smoke and mirrors. The National Guard, more importantly, is not cops. They're not law enforcement. They have no law enforcement power. They're just there for the optics to make, for example, maybe someone feel, okay, the National Guard's here. It's a little safer. Absolutely not. The more important issue, Chris, is you don't turn into a criminal when you traverse down the stairs into a subway platform. You're a criminal before you get to the subway. The fact that the city has opened the criminal justice system, the revolving door, and you and I have had this conversation, there is absolutely no deterrence whatsoever. And for the mayor to come out this morning, quite frankly, Chris, it really is insulting. Statistically, between three and five percent of all violent crimes that happen in New York City, particularly in the subway, are related to mental health issues. So this idea that all of a sudden we're going to give it a soft landing as, as if we're going to mitigate this person who acted like a criminal, he jumped the turnstile or literally walked into the subway plat pl pl platform unchecked, didn't pay his fare, was in possession of an illegal gun, came onto the subway, targeted someone, quite frankly, who was much smaller than him. And I have to be yeah. honest with you, we should be talking about the medal that we should pin on this guy who, quite frankly, stood up for all of us and turned the tables on someone who, quite frankly, not only would he have shot this poor guy, he probably would have then shot that woman and then would have turned the gun on everybody else. And so we should be talking about how can we, you know, how can we, you know, celebrate this guy? Because that's more of what we need. People that stand up and don't take it as, I mean, they were, this guy was going to pummel this guy into oblivion and the guy stood up and thank God he was able to rustle the gun away. But the important part, Chris, is we have a, grim, a criminal justice system in New York City that absolutely caters to criminals. That's why the city is in this deplorable condition. Now, on the, sta on the screen there, it says, you stabbed me, you stabbed the cop. The guy is not a cop. He was saying that. Stu, we'll leave the argument uh, right there. I appreciate your points. They're hard to refute. But what the solution is, is obviously a broader conversation. Uh, you're saying we're not going to have that conversation if politicians keep throwing around Band-Aids and, and terms that, uh, you know, that sound attractive and seductive to the media, but Chris, they're not the reality. Need, I appreciate you. We need real policing. Anti-crime unit, right. put them back on the street in plain clothes. That's what we need. More cops, more deterrence. Yep. And you know who wants that the most? Minority communities that are low income. They want it the most. Amen, and Supposedly, brother. those Amen, are the ones brother. who are being helped by taking the police out in the first place. Stuart, to be continued. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.